welcome to the next vlogmas and today I'm packing my weekend bag because we're going away for just one night to Porto Rojo. My mom invited us to go there because we've never been in the Christmas months. She says it's amazing. So I absolutely cannot wait. And what I already packed are just two pairs of underwear and just one pair of socks because everything that I'm wearing today, also my jewelry, everything is going with me. And this is something that I'm gonna wear the next day as well. We're not doing anything fancy where I would need to take more than just one outfit with me. So of course I'm gonna keep everything minimal. One important thing that I also have to take with me is bathing suits because they have some spa things in there. So I have to grab something like this. I haven't shown you this drawer in a long time. I recently reorganized it, so it's super pretty. These are my husband things and mine. And for today, I don't need any towels, just a bathing suit. And I wanna take something black. I think this one is gonna do. And then I also need the bottoms. Also, I haven't shown you this drawer in a long time, but I completely reorganized that. Here I have my backups. Here I have everything for traveling. Here I have my hygiene products. And here I have the chargers and travel cases for the toothbrushes. And at the back, I could put all of my travel bags. So we're gonna need this one. I mean, I can take all of them out because I'm gonna pack very, very little. And here are all of my traveling items. But honestly, I'm just gonna take this one just for today, for this night. I also have some testers for the body, which I'm also gonna take with me. I'm not sure what they're gonna have at a hotel, but this can be great. And then also, I'm thinking that I can take this one with me. Usually I don't travel with my electric toothbrush, but for one night, I don't wanna open a brand new one. And now we're in the bathroom, as you can hear the echo. I'm definitely gonna need to take my argan oil with me so I can remove the makeup from today. But then also I'm gonna use this almost as a moisturizer. Then I'm also gonna take my Leo deodorant. And then for my face cream, I'm gonna take this one. I, even though it's SPF, I'm gonna use it at night today and tomorrow in the morning. And now here I have all of my things for my lenses. I'm obviously gonna need everything. This is my hair products, but I'm not gonna take anything. Also for my perfumes, I applied this one today, but I'm not gonna take anything with me. It's just one eye. But I will need my glasses because I do have a prescription. Also, I forgot for my face wash, I should have a smaller one in here. Oh, here it is. This one is perfect for traveling, so it's going with me as well. Now for my makeup, I don't wanna take a lot with me. I definitely will take this one. This one is a small Leo hairbrush that it's perfect for traveling. And then here, I'm just thinking I'm gonna take this Leo it's a very hydrating lipstick that I'm wearing today. And then also just a mascara. And I think that's gonna do. I really don't need makeup where we're going. I also grabbed some things from downstairs. I have one pair of bathing suits. I'm just gonna put them in. Then I also have this little thing. This one is just an old pillowcase that I use for my dirty items. Even though I won't have a lot, I'm gonna have, you know, wet bathing suits. So. I need little padding. And then for my skincare stuff, I'm thinking that I can put everything in one bag. I don't have to have more than one. And again, I have the little plastic baggies. I always do that so things don't spill, especially lens solution. This one is so sticky and so annoying. <laughs> then I have floss and also my body lotions in testers my hairbrush as well. Then these two items I'm gonna put in the little pocket inside. And then all of these items I'm gonna put in plastic baggies. This one is an oil, so I need to be a little bit more careful. This is my Leo skincare package. What else do I need? Oh, I have a case for my glasses and my prescription glasses that's going in as well. And then the last thing that I need is my electric toothbrush and a toothpaste. Here's the toothpaste going in and then also the electric toothbrush. Hmm, maybe I better do it like this. I think this is gonna do. So I got everything in here, my skincare, body care, makeup, everything, but I have to store my glasses separately. And then these two bags, I honestly don't really need for this trip. Now for my electronics, what I'm gonna take with me is a new purchase. Maybe you've noticed in my videos, but I have a brand new vlogging camera 
this one is such a cutie i already used it so much because i tried to vlog with the camera that i use inside in the home and it was so bulky and just really hard to take with me and this one is perfect because it's so small and tiny so this one is going with me also i have this little dust bag from bulgari bag because the raincoat for the bag came in this little thing and now i'm using it as a protector for my camera which is brilliant but i can actually put my camera in my bag this is the bag that i'm gonna take with me you probably already know what i have in here car keys the wallet i have the little wipes which are really useful a hand cream a lip balm so that's why i don't need to pack these things separately because i already have them in my bag i also have plasters in here cleaners for my glasses and a nail file and also headphones so honestly this really helps when i'm going somewhere because i have a lot of the essentials in my bag and now of course i'm gonna add my vlogging camera as well and that's why i bought it because it fits inside the bag so perfectly you can see i have the entire camera inside then separately i'm gonna pack the little extra battery and also the charger because obviously that is something i would need and then i'm also gonna take a cable with me this one is to connect your computer to your tv because every christmas i mean in preparation for christmas we watch harry potter movies we've done so for the last 10 years because we just love them so much and instead of just watching it on laptop which my husband is gonna take with us I want to connect it to the TV in the room so we can have the big screen and just a better experience. So hope I'm not sure if they have a TV, probably. So this is going with me as well. Then obviously I would need a phone charger too. So here we have the charger and my bag is absolutely empty. Also, I'm not taking any hair shampoos or anything like that with me because we're going into spa, I think, to today or tomorrow. And when I come home, I'm just gonna wash my hair entirely. And that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna wrap all of my electronics in this thing. This is the final result. As you can see, very, very, very empty. But, you know, we're just going away for one night, so it's more than enough. And now for my entire outfit, I have this long black puffer coat that it's very, very warm. Then I just added the scarf for a little bit of extra warmth and interest. You've seen the bag before. And then for my shoes, I have my leather over the knee boots, which are perfect for the cold weather. As you can see, it was raining just a little bit, so when we arrived at the hotel, we decided we we're gonna do the sauna and the spa, and also me and my mom, we got a massage, and it was so, so relaxing. But then, of course, I also had to show you the room we were staying in. It was so, so gorgeous. I loved it. What <laughs> <laughs> Now, after the spa, we decided to go out because it stopped raining. I also wanted to show you the Christmas lights and we were hungry as well. So we grabbed two pizzas that we ate while watching Harry Potter. And then for the dessert, we grabbed this little thing that it's called Little Mouse in Slovenian. It's like little donut bowls. I'm not sure how to describe them, but they are delicious. And that was a really, really fun evening that we had. Good morning, we just woke up and got ready because we're heading down for breakfast. I have my hair tied up because I had a massage, so I wanted to make it nice and pretty. As for the outfit, you've seen it before. This is today's look and today we're not sure what we're gonna be doing. Maybe go around Puerto Rus just a little bit. I don't know, we're gonna see. <laughs> And now here is my mom's outfit because she looks absolutely gorgeous. She's a fashionista. <laughs> and then here is my sister. <laughs> Show them your outfit. <laughs> now we're just walking. my favorite sister <laughs> the only one <laughs> 
and now here is Porto Rosh in all of its glory. This is a little city next to the sea that it's really, really crowded in the summer. In the winter, as you can see, there are not many people there. But I just wanted to show you absolutely everything which you can see from this little pier. I love to go here. It's just an hour's drive to where we live. And in the winter months, it's actually really nice and warm. After we had our little walk next to the sea, then we decided to check some shops. And this one was really cute. It had kind of Slovenian things and I just wanted to show you my favorites. They were really, really cute and we spent too much time in there. So today I'm gonna be building my winter capsule wardrobe which I desperately need to do because it's getting really really cold and as usual I'm gonna go through all of my full capsule wardrobe pieces first to see what I still want to keep in my winter one and then I'm gonna go through storage you already know the drill <laughs> this is something that I always do at the beginning of season so for my first selection this one I still want to keep for my winter capsule wardrobe because I think it's really fun, especially if I want to be dressed up. Then I have the beige turtleneck, which again, it's going to be amazing for the winter months. It's staying. And then I have this white bodysuit that it's going to be too cold to wear it. So it's going into storage. And the same goes for my white fitted cami, again, going into storage. But then I have this fun lace top that it's perfect for winter. I'm going to be keeping it. And then I have the white long tee that it's going to be a little too thin for winter. So I'm going to put it in storage. But my white button up, it's perfect for layering. That's why I'm going to be keeping it as well. My white denim jacket, it's not going to be really useful in the winter months. I don't really wear it. And then I have this really thin colorful jumpers that I just think they're not really useful for the winter so I'm gonna put this one in storage as well as the pink one even though they're gorgeous they're just a little bit too thin then I have the plum turtleneck which I'm also gonna be keeping and I also have this check turtleneck that again I'm gonna be keeping for now as I'm doing this I'm going with my gut and then once I finish with everything I'm gonna see if I want to make a few changes and now through my second pile first I have this gorgeous dress that I don't really <laughs> plan to wear in the winter it's too cold for a dress like this then I have my black fitted cami which because it's fitted, I'm thinking I can still wear it underneath my jumpers, especially if I go somewhere and I want to dress it up. So I'm going to keep this one for more special occasions, that kind of thing. And then I have a black bodysuit that honestly now I'm thinking that it's even better than the black fitted cami. No, I'm going to put this one in storage. One is enough. Then I have my black really fun sleeve t-shirt <laughs> that it's too cold to wear it i have another black t-shirt with really fun puff sleeves again too cold to wear it i have this short sleeve turtleneck that technically it's too cold to wear it but i can still make it work so i'm just gonna put it in to see how much i would wear it then i have the black silk sheer button up that it's gorgeous and i'm gonna be keeping it i love it i have my black long tee that it's gonna be too cold to wear it and then this one is an off-shoulder jumper that I also love and it's gonna be staying. And then for my last pile, I have this black turtleneck that it's such a classic staple piece. I love it, I'm gonna be keeping it. Then I have this maxi dress that it's actually a cami dress, but it's gonna be too cold to wear it. I have my black sleeveless dress that technically I could wear it and layer it with some button-ups, but Honestly, I don't think I will, so I will put it in storage. And then I have this gorgeous black bodycon dress. I mean, it's folded a little bit funny, <laughs> so I don't stretch it, but I love this dress, so it's gonna be staying. Then I have my short black cardigan that I won't really need in the winter. It's gonna be too cold. But then the long one, as you can see, this one is really, really long. This one I'm still gonna be keeping. And now we can finally go through storage. First, I have this red dress that I already took out of storage to wear it because I missed it so much. I love it. This one is a perfect winter dress and it's going to be staying. And I'm going to put my heavy knits on this shelf right here. That's why I created extra shelves so I can have my knits 
fold it like this and this is again something I'm gonna be keeping it's a really thick pink jumper cashmere jumper or wool jumper <laughs> really warm really cozy obviously it's gonna be staying also I need extra hangers and I can continue going through everything here I have my black crew neck jumper perfect for winter it's going in and then here I just have two summer dresses that obviously I'm not gonna be keeping so I'm just gonna put things in storage as I'm doing this here is another pile but I think everything is for summer I have summer dress summer dress coral button up orange top and another summer dress everything it's gonna be too cold for winter so it's going into storage you know this pile here I have this really light light gray turtleneck I cannot wait to wear this one I know it's a basic piece but it's so nice to wear in the winter months I'm gonna put it in my capsule and then I have my denim summer shorts in here as well as my denim jacket everything is gonna go into storage and then I have this really fun crop tee but it's not appropriate for winter obviously <laughs> it's too cold and then here we have another summer dress we have a really fun summer t-shirt that I'm not gonna be needing right now I have my white denim shorts that again I don't need I have this white off-shoulder top that it's a really fun spring and summer piece but for winter I don't really need it but then this one it's a really fun winter piece it has really unique sleeves and that's why I love it also the color is just so timeless but because it's a little bit heavy I'm gonna put it here on the shelf then I have this black dress with really unique sleeves which I love in the summer months but for winter I don't really see myself wearing it so I'm gonna put it in storage but then this one, oh, I missed it. I love this one so much. It's a really nice winter dress. It's really fitted. I feel amazing when I wear it. And even though it may look heavy, it's really not. So I can easily put it on the hanger. And then I have this one that again, it's one of my favorite winter pieces. It's a pink jumper with really unique little buttons, silver buttons. I love it, but again, I'm thinking I should put it here not because the material is thick but the buttons are really heavy so they're pulling the fabric down and then i have this black silk button up that i don't really see myself wearing right now i'm gonna put it in storage i have oh yeah <laughs> a black crop top this is definitely not gonna be staying it's a summer piece only and then i also have a black silk cami which is kind of perfect for special occasion things but i personally don't have any events right now <laughs> So I'm not gonna keep it out. And I think this is the last pile when it comes to my tops and dresses. Here I have a cropped white tee, that it's not a winter piece. I have a pink cami dress, again, a summer piece. I also have this pink sleeveless blouse, which is again, a summer piece. But then this one, it's a perfect winter piece. I love it so much. It's just an orange turtleneck with really unique puff sleeves, balloon sleeves. I love it and again I'm gonna put it on this shelf right here I'm trying to match the colors <laughs> so I'm also keeping this black cashmere dress that I'm wearing today again I took it out of storage and once you know I'm done wearing it it's gonna go right here so it's gonna go from black colors and white and then I have some tights and socks some underwear pieces these are new tights they're really thin I don't need them in winter I'm gonna be too cold in them I have another pair of new tights they're gonna be a little bit too thin to wear right now and then lastly for my tights I have this really thin black pair that again I don't really need to wear in the winter months but what I'm gonna be putting in are just four pairs I think they're just four yeah of cashmere thick socks which is perfect when it's colder outside but then I'm thinking if I'm putting this in that I can take my white socks out do I need white socks in the winter maybe I can keep just four different pairs in case it's really sunny and I want to wear my white jeans with white sneakers so yeah I'm gonna keep four and then six of them I'm gonna put in storage so my drawers are not gonna be cluttered I feel like I don't have a lot of stuff. I put a lot of things from my capsule wardrobe into a time hotel drawer. And that's why I kind of have a little bit of gap. I feel I don't have that many items to go through. But for now, these are my bottoms. I have my white jeans that I'm gonna keep, why not? I wanna see how much I would wear them in the winter, even if I don't wear them loads. 
I don't really mind. I still want to keep them to see. Then I have probably my most worn jeans in my collection. This medium wash skinny jeans. I love them so much. They're really, really comfy. They're going in. Then I have the same design just in dark wash. These are a little bit less comfortable because they have a little bit of a different composition but I still love them in the winter. I also have faux leather pants that are brand new. I love them, they are fleeced inside. I'm gonna be keeping them. And then lastly for my jeans, I have just a black skinny pair that again are very comfy and I love them so much. And now for my shorts, I have black shorts that I'm gonna be keeping. And I think that's the only pair. <laughs> then I have my denim skirt. This one is just a summer or maybe spring and fall piece, but for winter, I definitely am not gonna wear it. I'm gonna put it away. But then I have my faux leather skirt that I love so much. I'm gonna wear it in the winter, definitely, as well as my black mini skirt. I love these two so much. Sometimes I wear them more, sometimes a little bit less, but they are a classic piece for me. And then I have these gorgeous special occasion pants. They're really high and really long, so I can wear them with heels. But honestly, I don't have any events right now where I would need to take them. So I'm gonna put them in storage. And then I have these black crop joggers. It's gonna be definitely too cold to wear them. Even at the end of fall, I couldn't wear them anymore. But then I have this pair. These are my white pants. They're perfect to wear with sneakers and I still want to keep them in my winter capsule. I want to get over my fear of staining them and just finally wear them because I think they're gorgeous. And then lastly, I have this thicker pair. These are again black pants, perfect to wear with sneakers. They're that kind of length. I love them, they're very comfy, so I'm gonna keep them. And then I have this little cropped sweater that it was already in storage and I'm just gonna put it there again even for my sports stuff I usually like to go through everything to see if I want to put anything in storage and this one I'm definitely not gonna be wearing but now I'm thinking that if I should go through my time will tell box to see if there is anything I would like to take out so I took out three different items because I kind of missed all of them just a little bit this one I definitely missed. I could see throughout the fall, I kind of missed this fun little sleeves and I'm gonna put it in my winter capsule because I think it looks absolutely stunning. And also I think I need some more fun colorful jumpers, not only black. And this one, I mean, it's still a neutral, but at least it's not black. <laughs> but then I have this one. I was thinking for this one, this one is a wool dress. It's really thick, really warm. And I was thinking and debating if I should keep it, declutter it. And then I got the idea that I should alter it just a little bit because it just doesn't have any shape. And I personally need to have things that hug my figure just a little bit. Otherwise, I just look shapeless and it's not flattering for me. So I was thinking that I could take this to my seamstress and she can take it in just a little bit by the sides. So it's a little bit more flattering. And then I'm gonna put it in my winter capsule and see how much I wear it. Because I still think this dress looks absolutely amazing. It's really useful, really warm, but just, I wanted to make it a 10. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then with this dress, I don't really know what to do with it. So I was thinking that I wanna give it one less chance. So I'm gonna put it in my winter capsule and then I'm gonna make the effort to wear it at least a couple of times. And then I'm gonna make a decision because I'm gonna observe how I feel when I wear it. Honestly, it's probably not gonna be staying, but I still wanna give it one less try and then I'm gonna make a decision. So I'm gonna put this one in as well. But maybe I'm gonna love it, I don't know. But I definitely feel that if I'm just gonna have it in my time will tell box, I'm not gonna make a decision like that. So I have to kind of force myself to wear it just a little bit and then I'm gonna know. And now I'm thinking that a little bit of color is missing. I mean, how many pieces do I have? I have 18 pieces up here. This one is 19, this one is 20. So I have 24 pieces, which I think it's the same amount that I had in my full capsule. But for some reason, it just doesn't look colorful. Maybe because all of the colors are in here. These two items that I was actually debating if I should put them back into my winter capsule. But realistically, are they a little bit too thin to wear them? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna put this to in storage. I think this is gonna do, even though it looks a little bit too black <laughs> from here. 
I have colors in here and when I'm making my capsule wardrobe wishlist for 2024 I'm gonna see if I need to add so this is my main capsule done but now as always I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna do the shoes accessories and coats and now this is the downstairs closet you can see with the coats and bags and shoes so first I want to show you all of my sneakers because I'm not gonna change anything here these three are my sporty sneakers and these are my classic white sneakers but then in the top shelf I have my fancy shoes and the only thing that I want to switch out are my black wedges and I'm gonna replace them with my snow boots which I'm just gonna put them in here so I have my leather ankle booties, Ugg boots, another leather ankle booties, snow boots, heels for special occasion, my black over the knee boots with a heel, my flat over the knee boots and then top over the knee boots with a heel. So these are my shoes done. Then here are all of my bags. These are all gonna be staying. I also have a wool hat that it's also gonna be staying and here I have my accessories these are all of my scarf but I have another one that I'm wearing today that I'm gonna show you next and then here I have all of my gloves and gaiters and all of that stuff but I'm gonna add three more items first I have a pair of cashmere gloves then I'm gonna be adding I love this then I have a pair of snow gloves which are essential in the winter these are going in as well and lastly I have a pair <laughs> of earmuffs which is going in as well i just have to reorganize this just a little bit maybe i can put this hat in storage so i can create a little bit more space and then i can put all of my accessories in here so this is what i decided to do to have all of my three gloves in here and all of my scarves and then the earmuffs i just put here next to the hat because I cannot close the drawer if I have the earmuffs in there. And now lastly, we can go through the coat collection, which I also have blazers in here because I do wear them as jackets in the fall. So this white blazer, I'm gonna put into storage. Then I have another blazer with gold buttons. This one is again going into storage. I have my faux leather jacket that it's cropped and it's also going into storage. I think this one is a blazer too. Yes, with silver buttons, a black blazer. I'm gonna put it in storage. Then I have my white wool coat that it's gonna be staying. Trench coat, I think I'm also gonna put in storage because it's gonna be too thin for winter. But then I have the black wool coat that it's gonna be staying. I have my faux fur coat that also is gonna be staying. And this pink puffer jacket that it's also gonna be staying. And then lastly, this is something that I'm wearing today. I'm gonna show you a look in a minute, but I have my really long winter jacket this one is so warm I love it then I have the extra scarf in here and the handbag of today so this is also staying and now for my storage I have this drawer with all of the blazers extra hangers and the trench coat which this is gonna be staying here until the end of winter and then I have another storage drawer with the little hat with other summer hats and with loads of extra hangers <laughs> and now as promised the outfit that i'm wearing today you've seen the dress and the tights before and now this is how everything looks with my outerwear again i have my flat over the knee boots i just cannot stop wearing this then i have my tan scarf and the long winter coat with my black pulling handbag that I love so much so this is gonna be the end of vlog again if you watch the entire vlog leave the camera emoji down below I think this can be our thing for the vlogs I really hope you enjoyed it as always and I'll see you next time